um, I have the gorgeous <laughs> supermodel Oluchi. She was just doing her makeup now <laughs> before That's we came always, back I on air. <laughs> Fixing myself. How are you doing? Fine. It's nice to be here. The Oluchi. Now, when I told Oluchi that I was going to have her on the show, she was like, ah, this is your show that you're always asking about who's dating who. <laughs> 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 that she doesn't want to come. So, I, I don't have any, I mean, you don't have any controversies. No, really, absolutely not. Which is very strange. Because Why? models have this sort of reputation for being very controversial with well. like relationships and their personal lifestyle. How mm. do you, how, how have we been able to do that where we don't know anything about you basically besides your family? Um, I have a work life and then I have a me life. So when I'm not working, I'm pretty much myself. So I just try to keep the two separate. Which is, uh, like, why do you do that though? Don't you, because a lot of people say, as a celebrity, most yeah. times when you're controversial, your career, it helps your career a bit. Okay. A lot of your colleagues like Naomi Campbell are very controversial. And people think that's why they are always like in the news and their career has been where they live. Listen, Naomi's from a, a completely different era. <laughs> She's from the 80s. You know, I've only been doing this for like 12 years. And the models of my generation were very different. We just work and then we go home. It's like very different. Let's go back to the beginning now, not necessarily talking about i just remember the day you won the face of africa thing i was watching you were yes how old I, were you then i'm your age mates <laughs> 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 we are age mates oh my God. you know <laughs> my age yes okay. it's all over the internet you're not that uh, anonymous okay. but i remember the, when you won they said ah, the winner is patricia the name is patricia i know that my middle name yeah is. and they called you patricia i'm like who's patricia then they said oh Lucia. <laughs> You know, <laughs> and you were young, you were 17. I'm still young, thank you very much. You were young, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> how has it been for you? Did you expect all of this the way it's happening now? Um, it's or been it's been 13 long years. You know, I won Face of Africa, moved to New York, and just started a modeling career, which I didn't have that much of experience on. So, um, but so much has happened in the last... There's a story we heard about you selling bread. Was that true? Yes. You were actually I did. You used to hawk bread. No, actually not hawking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what's so because funny? Because all I heard, I used Listen, to carry bread in Sweden or something. No, 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 no. It was actually my idea to do that. Oh, okay. Um, my mom, she, she works as a nurse. And my dad, like every other father, a civil servant. He worked at, um, they make news, uh, what is it called? exercise books for kids okay the printing press or something yeah so i came home one day and i said mom listen there's a girl in my class she actually sells bread and she's she making always, money she comes to class with a lot of money and i said to her how come you always have money where do you get all this money from and she said to me her mother manufactures bread so the next day i went back to school and i said to her listen my mother wants to sell bread too so it was my idea it was my just my entrepreneurial spirit, one of the many. Very impressive. Now you're yes. married. Yes, I am married. <laughs> to um, an Italian. Okay. Was, it a pro was it a problem? I mean, I'm Igbo. Yes. And I know that culturally for us, it's always like, ah, you must marry one of us <laughs> sort of thing. Was it a problem for you breaking that to your family? Um, let me try to remember. Actually, no. You know, my husband is Italian. And I feel like Italian, they're very... Um, similar to Igbo people. I, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but they've, you know, family means a lot to them. They're very conservative. Um, I would not have done it any other way. Would I have loved to marry a Nigerian? Maybe. But <laughs> things happen at the right time, at the right place, and I just went for it. Are you happy? Very happy. Do I look happy? Yes, you do. Do I look <laughs> like I'm content? <laughs> I can tell that you are. <laughs> I have two amazing kids. I mean, what else do I want? You know, a daughter I have maybe. a six-year-old <laughs> and kidding. I have a two and a half. I would love to have a daughter. So maybe I'll go for one more or two more. Now, a lot of models tend to not go the marriage route or pregnancy because it sort of affects your career. And I remember seeing you do the Victoria Fashion, Victoria Secrets with a, with a, a bump, a Did bump. You, can you tell I was pregnant? <laughs> I think it was it was a very slight bump. Then I think you did an interview where you talked about that. Why did you do that? Didn't, weren't you scared of for your career, getting married and getting pregnant as a supermodel? You know, I started very early. I started at seventeen, so by the time I was twenty five, that's already seven years of modeling, and I did everything even before I was twenty five years old. 
So when, when, um, when Luca proposed to me, I was like, okay, let me think about it. The usual shakara, you know. <laughs> um, so for me, I just, I, I've always wanted to have kids. I love being a mother. Um, I love to have more kids. So it wasn't a problem for you It wasn't all. a problem at all. The, the, I th initially, when I was pregnant, I was petrified, obviously, about my body. Would I get back in shape? But I'm so skinny and so tall. I have so much room for the, <laughs> for the, for the belly itself. <laughs> By the time I had the baby, I was ready to bounce back to work. Now you... I, t I know I said that you didn't have a lot of controversies in the past, but there yes. was a rumor that came out when... Another Agbani, rumor? When okay. Agbani won Miss World, there was yes. this rumor then that you guys were not friends. She had moved to New York and there was this cat fight on who would be oh, really? the supermodel. Oh. And I know you guys are friends now, but oh, was that ever true? Friends. Was that ever true? I never heard about this story. It was in tabloids, yeah. Really? Yes. Like local ones? Yes. Oh, I never heard about this story. Listen, I mean, <laughs> she's an amazing woman. Yes. Uh, we're friends. She moved to New York. I only met her much later, like two, three years afterwards. I never heard about this. This is my first time why hearing this. Why do you think it's been tough since you, for like another Nigerian to break into that sort of supermodel status? Like we thought that, okay, you had opened all of these doors for us. And then since then, nothing major has happened for anybody else. I mean, I'm no, I know we have a lot of wonderful models here. Why has it been so tough for that to happen since then? You mean for them to work internationally? Yeah, and do it big. For me, I think I was at the right place at the right time, and I'm 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 very uh, inquisitive. You know, I'm I'm very hardworking too. So I can I can't answer that question to be honest. But for me, I just think I was at the right place at the right time, and I'm always thinking, what else can I do? How can I get better? You know, you have to want it for you to be successful. Success will not just come and be served to you in a plate, you know. Yeah. So for me, I worked really hard. I can't answer that <laughs> question. And to be honest, fashion industry on the continent of Africa, it's not so big to the extent yeah, where, where... You can export models Yes, easily. exactly. Like my Brazilian friends, for instance, fashion industry in Brazil is so big. So they get to be trained extremely well before sending them out. In nice. Africa, some of them go by themselves if they can afford to. And just try. And then just try. But most of my other girls, like the Russian girls, they're trained, extremely trained. By the time they get to New York, they're on fire. Like they're there to win. But we African girls, we're like so timid, so shy, insecure. We're not outspoken. We're not trained. I happen to be an exception. <laughs> you know, am I allowed to say that? <laughs> I just happen but to you be are. You yeah, just I just are an exception. I, I just happen to be an exception. It just hasn't happened since then, and it's been 13 years, like you said. Yeah, but we're going to get to... Listen, yeah. we're, we're working on Africa's Next Top yeah. Model, and it's, yeah. I think that's a great platform to sort of train the girls. Before